To set up a new league in the Draft Analyzer web, begin by going to Add League in the top right of the draft board. Enter in your new league name and then click Submit. Your new league name will now appear next to any previous leagues in the top left of the draft board. Then scroll down to the Settings tab to enter in your league settings. Begin by selecting your draft style. Once you have selected your draft style, move down to Optional Settings. Here is where you can edit your scoring rules, edit the number of players on each roster, edit, add, or delete owner names, and edit the draft order. Let's start with Edit Scoring Rules. For offensive scoring rules, be sure to enter in only numbers in the column. Then click Enter. When entering in pass yards per point, be sure to enter in the number of pass yards it takes to get one point. Do not enter in any equations or unusual characters such as dashes or slashes. The same goes for pass yards per point and rush yards per point. Enter in the number of yards it takes to get one point. For all other columns, enter in the number of points, not the number of yards. For kickers, enter in the number you would like for field goals in the top column. Additional bonuses will then be added on to this first number, based on the distance of the field goal. Add in any bonuses you would like. For positional scoring, the positional scoring will override any scoring rules in the offensive category. It will not be added on to any scoring rules. These scoring rules will override it for players of that specific position. Running backs will get 1.5 points rather than 1 point traditionally given to all other positions. This will override the previous 1 point listed in the Offensive tab. When you are done editing your scoring rules, click Submit, and then close out of the window. Then, to lock in your changes, be sure to click Refresh League to view changes, and your changes will lock in. Next, we will go to Edit Roster Settings. Under Edit Roster Settings, enter in the number of starters in the Start column, and the total number of players in the Total column. The total number of players at each position and the starters will help in your recommendations. The total number of players in the total column should equal the total number of draft rounds. Be sure that the total number is always at least as equal or greater than the number in the start column. Do not enter in zeros for any in the total column unless you do not want any players at that position. You can enter in flex positions at the bottom. Remember, always have the total column to be at least as great as the start column. Then click Submit. Then close out of the window. Scroll down to Refresh League to view changes, and your changes will be saved. To edit, add, or delete owner names, then click Edit, Add, Delete Owner Names. In the next window, you can highlight an owner name and then edit the name of the selected owner. Then click Save. You can also add in new owners.
and then click Save. If you highlight an existing owner, you can then click Delete Selected Owner and that owner will be deleted. When you are done editing owners, click Submit, then close out of the window, then scroll down to Refresh League to view changes and your changes will be locked in. Lastly, edit the draft order. Click and drag each owner into their proper position within the draft order. When you are done editing the draft order, click Submit. The draft order can only be set for a single round of drafting, and it will continue on at that draft round unless you change it. You can only edit the draft order either at the beginning of your draft or in between draft rounds if you have a varying draft order. Do not edit the draft order in the middle of a round. When you're done editing, close out of the window and then click Refresh League to view changes. Now my league is currently set up. I must select my team now from the Select Your Team drop-down menu. Otherwise, my recommendations will not be properly entered. Now I go over to the Recommended tab and make sure that my name is also selected there so that the recommendations are also edited in for my team.